I guess we're going to court, boys. I don't really see any other option. In my many years here on YouTube, I have fought every single spurious copyright claim, and I have defeated 100% of them. I am undefeated in threatening, in pleading my case, and telling these, sci these online copyright bullies, these ripoff companies, that I won't be one of their victims. And so every time a claim came in, I refuted it and I won every single time. Now this one is a little bit different. This one, my friends, will involve going to court. And I assure you, I'm 100% ready. Thanks to amazing sponsors like this. Huge shout out to this video sponsor, Blue Blocks. Look, if you're like me and you spend a lot of time staring at your computer screen, your laptop, your desktop, your tablets or cell phone, you know at the end of the day, your eyes feel a little bit tired. What you may be experiencing there is blue light damage and Blue Blocks has the cure for that. Blue light damages our eyes and leads to digital eye strain. Symptoms of digital eye strain are blurred vision, headaches, and dry and watery eyes. Blue Blocks was created to fix this problem and block out blue light with high quality lenses. Blue Blocks has over 40 cool frames to choose from. They come in prescription and non-prescription as well as readers. So they have frames for everyone's needs. Go to blueblocks.com slash the quartering and use promo code the quartering at checkout to get 20% off and enjoy free shipping on all orders over $115. Get your energy back, sleep better, and block out the unhealthy effects of blue light with Blue Blocks. That's B L U B L O X dot com slash the quartering, or just click the link below and make sure to use code the quartering at checkout to save even more. Protect your eyes, support the channel, check out blueblocks.com slash the quartering. Make sure you check them out. It's through sponsors and support from people like you on my subscribe star that I get to have such a bold position here. Now, I have had one video removed uh, for violating YouTube's terms of service, and there are three more currently at risk, which would potentially put my channel at risk. Uh, I don't know how many strikes they would lump this all together uh, as or if they will issue one, given the type of complaint it was, but I'm going to show you exactly um, what this is about. These were videos that I put out back in September of last year in support of Sophie. A, uh, uh, it was a bitter custody battle uh, where the dad ended up winning full custody after there were just some heartbreaking videos online. Um, here's, here's a recap of the story. Father wins full custody after the hashtag stand with Sophie campaign, after she claimed her mother's fiance did terrible things. A judge on Wednesday awarded full custody of Sophie and her two younger brothers to her father, Michael. This came after the daughter was heard uh, claiming some terrible things was ha were happening. Uh, this was all on tape and they had launched a GoFundMe at the time and I worked hard to support them. Now, Michael plans to enroll their children in school uh, in Texas this fall. Of course, in an exclusive interview with Michael and his uh, wife, Courtney, before the judge reached their decision, they told DailyMail.com that they were racked with guilt over what was going on uh, in, in, their, in his ex-wife's home. They were terrified of what might happen if she had to, be, if she had to stay there. Um, it was terrible. It was the claims that were being made, I want to say. The claims that were being made today uh or in this video uh were chilling they ended up having a really happy ending because uh well the father ended up getting custody away from the bad situation of course the initial ex was given full custody because she hired a lawyer and he did not leading him being granted only intermittent episodes of supervised access. In 2016, with the help of his then-girlfriend and now wife, he began battling for shared custody and the co-conservator along with the ex. Both say they have faced legal obstacles every step of the way and claim um, CPS has failed to act uh, to protect the daughter. Uh, ultimately, this story goes viral. 
uh, everybody on the internet's defending them. I made three videos, which I may have to private today. Uh, I'm not exactly sure. The problem is I'm not sure who is actually taking these videos down. And the only way I can find out is if I agree to go to court. This is just a perfect example of how messed up the YouTube copyright system really is. Uh, I received this email saying, uh, essentially, hey, this is an another video, by the way, a privacy complaint uh, from an individual regarding your content. It shows the video. And then it's difficult to kind of always tell, but really what this is is from 218 to 241. Uh, during that clip, I am showing the GoFundMe, um, which uh, was public at the time. So I made no change. This was back on August 14th. I didn't say anything about it publicly. I never do with these privacy complaints because I always defeat them. I'm like 50 for 50 uh, defeating privacy complaints because... I only show stuff that's out there publicly. And honestly, if people email me and say something weird, like, hey, you know, can you blur this out or whatever? I absolutely will. Not like that. I wouldn't knowingly put out certain information about somebody if they didn't want it out there, even if it was already out there. And they said, <coughs> excuse me, if they said, hey, bro, you know, I didn't like that. Some website published pictures of my family and then you were covering the article and it showed the picture. Can you cut that out? Absolutely. Okay. Um, I, I, I make like five, six, seven, eight videos a day. Sometimes it's hard. You know, I try to avoid stuff like that if I see it. Um, but you know, it's the internet in 2021, everything's out there. Um, it also says, please note that it may occur in the title, video description, channel image, or background. This notification informs you that another user has raised a privacy complaint. Now they don't tell you who it was. It's just from YouTube's legal department. They don't tell me anything about it. Um, and the only option you have in the back end is you can't see this, but it says, you know, well, actually, I could probably do figure out a way to show this to you here. Oops, not that one. Let's do this. Okay. So I get this in the back end today. Community guidelines removal. Your content, worst mother ever. You know, Sophie needs your help. Stand with Sophie was removed due to a violation of our community guidelines. It didn't violate community guidelines. And the video has been up for over a year. So I don't even know, you know, who in the heck would be. And you have to manually do this. Sometimes trolls do it, um, you know, and I just ignore them most of the time but the way youtube system is is the only op option i have and i'll show you actually because um this is a major problem for all creators uh if i choose to appeal it right let me show you hold on now the the the, the thing is is youtube doesn't want to protect creators in any way shape or form um, but when I try to submit an appeal, look what happens. Submit an appeal. I click it. Appealing this violation is not available. So YouTube has made a summary decision, a summary legal decision against my channel and removed a video for a privacy reason for, again, showing a publicly available image that was on GoFundMe at the time. YouTube shouldn't be, as far as I understand YouTube, and again, I'm gonna tag YouTube in, Team YouTube in this video. I ask if you use Twitter, please do like and retweet it and be kind to Twitter or to Team YouTube. They've always been really helpful to me in the past for as much as you know critiques I've given them. I should be able to appeal this because YouTube isn't a judge and YouTube doesn't act as a legal entity, although they aren't allowing me to appeal it. So they've given, taken this video down. There are multiple other videos under review, which I assume will all also go down. And YouTube is giving me zero chance to appeal it. What I'm asking you all, and I'm going to fight this. 
obviously I would prefer to avoid court, um, but sometimes setting a precedent is important. Um, it's the wrong time of year, given I, I pay taxes in uh, November and October, but I'm sorry, September and October, but nonetheless, um, I'm only going to ask that you just get involved in this video, you interact with it, uh, you leave a like and a comment on it. I've been very blessed. Uh, I'm not going to be starting any GoFundMes as, 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 as things stand right now. Um, I'm going to try to take this to a, uh, a, a conclusion that doesn't involve both sides of this spending tens of thousands of dollars. Um, what I want them to do is to remove this claim uh, or let me appeal it because I will appeal it and I will go to court to defend myself. Uh, had they have asked me simply to blur something out or take something down, I actually would have done it. I would have been in my right to leave it up, but I would have done it. The fact that they went this far to take it down and put my channel at risk is extraordinarily concerning and I can't let that go. So please uh, get involved in this video, share it on, on Twitter. Uh, hopefully it won't escalate beyond this. Uh, I've, I'm reaching out, obviously I'll get everything to my um, half Asian super lawyer, Bill Richmond later today, just so he's aware of everything that's going on. Um, and if you guys know, you know, if I, if I get a strike after this, I will lose a week's worth of work, which would be financially crippling. So that's why I have to fight this. I can't just take this and move on with my life. I have to fight it because if I get a strike after this now, uh, I lose a week of work, which I can't, I can't afford. I can't do that. So um, make sure you get involved in this video. Um, I promise to fight this, not just for myself, but to set precedent here on YouTube for all my fellow YouTubers. And uh, what a great way to go into the weekend. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.